Congratulations. Uh, how's it feel to, first off, hear your name called and uh, fulfill a lifelong dream to, to go play in the WNBA now? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, quite literally a dream come true. I mean, it's something that, you know, I've, you know, I've dreamt about for, I mean, as long as I can remember growing up. So, um, yeah, I think it was kind of a, it was a rough, you know, uh, 30, 45 minutes before I heard my name. Um, I think it was, there's a lot of anxiety around the room, but um, yeah, I mean, I mean, to hear my name called, especially, you know, with a, with a former teammate in Nas, um, going somewhere, you know, hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll know someone, you know, I'll feel comfortable. Um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't, couldn't be more, more excited and more grateful for the opportunity. What was the moment like when you, when you heard the name called and what was the reaction kind of like in the room? Um, yeah. So like I said, there was, there was definitely a lot of anxiety. Everyone was, everyone was pretty quiet um, up until that point. And then, you know, when I heard my name, I think it was, I think I, I shed a few tears um, at first. It was, it was just kind of, like I said, it's a, it's a really surreal moment. Um, you know, it means a lot more than, more than I can express to, to me and to my family and, you know, to those people close to me. So um, yeah, so it was, it was super great to, to be able to share that with them. Um, you know, my loved ones were able to be, to make it here. Um, yeah. So it's, it's a great opportunity, you know, kind of, kind of at a loss for words, honestly. I know obviously the, the, the process leading up to the draft isn't the necessarily the longest thing in the world, but have you had much contact with Atlanta? Did you have an idea that they might've been interested in you? Um, yeah, so I was able to to talk to them. Um, I think yesterday, actually, I had a I had a conversation with them um, and their staff. So yeah, um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, super super grateful for the opportunity. Um, never been to Atlanta, so uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. But yeah, super excited. Um, you know, really really excited for the warm weather. That weather, that's for sure. For you, how do you uh, how do you feel like you you fit into what Atlanta likes to do, and uh, you know how you know what is it that you feel like you can help impact their program and, and their franchise? Yeah, I mean, I think they're a team that's still building. Um, I think they saw you know some success last year and um, kind of surprised some people, and you know kind of kind of set some expectations of you know what they can be. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely I'm just going to go in with kind of the mindset of you know whatever role they want me to fill, um, whether that's you know being the 10th, 11th, 12th man, or whether that's you know getting opportunities to see the court, um, you know, I'm, I'm ready and I'm willing to do whatever that takes. Um, yeah. So like I said, super, super excited for the opportunity. Um, yeah. And, and really excited to get there and get to work for sure. You're the first girl from Northeast Indiana to be drafted to the WNBA since 2006. Uh, obviously the first one from DeKalb to go, what's it mean to, to kind of represent Northeast Indiana, not only in that way, but also DeKalb high school uh, and, and, really the the 260 in that way and be one of the first ones to do this yeah I mean I mean it means a lot I think you know I, I really pride myself on being someone that you know people can look up to and especially coming from a small town and from an area um when you know no one really believed you know this could happen um so yeah it means a lot I mean you know I want to be able to prove to people that you know it doesn't matter where you're from um you know if you put the work in and I mean um, I mean, think good things can happen. So, um, yeah, it means a lot to be able to, to represent Auburn, to represent, you know, the 260. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully making everyone proud back home. Um, but yeah, super excited to get to work. What are the next steps for you? Kind of, you know, uh, when do you report and, um, where do you, you know, where do you kind of go from here? Yeah, so training camp starts on the 30th. Um, you know, haven't haven't had any conversations yet with the staff or anything like that. So, um, you know, we're, we'll try to fine tune everything, you know, the report dates and things like that here probably tomorrow or the next day. Um, but yeah, so I think, you know, if not the 30th, maybe a week or a few days before. Um, yeah, so just kind of work work as hard as I can, you know, get into the gym, um, get in the weight room and, you know, make sure, make sure I'm ready to report. So super excited for training camp where do you still want to see your game grow and, and where do you still, you know, want to improve the most as you kind of get ready to take this jump now to, you know, go play against some of the best of the best uh, in women's basketball. Yeah. I mean, I think ultimately this is, this is why people do it, um, you know, to get to this level and to be able to compete, like you said, with, with the best of the best and, you know, some of those, the legendary players um, that you see, you know, all over the place. So um, yeah, I mean, like I said, super excited. Um, I think that, Obviously, there's a there's a different element when it comes to, you know, strength, speed, um, athleticism once you get to the league. And so um, I think just going, being ready for that and just being mentally prepared that it's going to be it's going to be tough. Um, it's going to be a challenge. But um, I think that's where the competitor comes out. Um, and that's something that, you know, I, you know, I'm ready to fully embrace. Um, yeah. So so definitely ready to go. Uh, I know it's going to be tough, but really, really excited. I was going to say, do you kind of go in with a, a little bit of a chip on your shoulder knowing you were just outside that? 
that first round? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously it would have been great to go first round, but, um, you know, the fact that I got this opportunity, you know, um, anyways, is, is pretty special. So, um, yeah, I think I think I pride myself on, you know, playing with a little bit of chip, having a little bit of an attitude. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely bring that to, to Atlanta for sure.